Light doesn't have mass. I'm serious. Even though light has energy, E equals mc squared doesn't apply to it. And this isn't just a guess either. We've experimentally determined this to be true. Confused? Not for long. So we all know light carries energy. We can harness it in solar panels, and we can feel the sun's warmth on our face. And Einstein's most famous equation, E equals mc squared, seems to imply the equivalence of mass and energy. So what gives? Well, that equation isn't the full story. That equation is telling you about how much energy something has when it's at rest. But another thing that we also learned from Einstein's work is that if light doesn't have mass, then it can never be at rest, so it just doesn't apply. Instead, we have to use the full energy-momentum relation. The P in this equation stands for momentum. And while we typically think of momentum as being mass times velocity, that's not the true definition. The true definition involves some sophisticated mathematics. But the bottom line is, light can have momentum even if it doesn't have mass. And that means it can have energy without mass. But this is all fine and dandy, except it's not proof that it is massless, just that it's possible for it to be massless. So how do we know? Well, technically we don't, but we have good reason to think it doesn't. Generally speaking, it's really hard to measure if something is exactly zero. That's because experimental measurements have some degree of error, and so the best we can do is place bounds. Say, such and such thing is between values x and y. And so it goes with the mass of the photon, the smallest particle of light. Various experimental and observational results tell us that the mass of the photon is somewhere between zero, the lowest possible value, and 10 to the minus 51 kilograms. And that's ridiculously small. Even at its largest, it would be 20 orders of magnitude lighter than an electron. And so if it has mass, it's got to be tiny. But there's another reason too. All of modern particle physics relies on the fact that the photon has zero mass, and we're able to make spectacularly accurate predictions about particles based on that and other observations about nature. So it would be awfully surprising if we were able to make such good predictions based on a flawed assumption. But could we technically be wrong? Sure, it just isn't likely.